first and foremost, I would like to say thank you to each and everybody who has been supporting this YouTube channel. This is Sichamba Jacob, of course. I've got this question with me. It's an exponential uh, Olympiad exam question. So they want us to find the value of x. Of course, to find the value of x, we are going to write 3x power x is equal to a 3 power x times 3 power 10. Applying the laws of indices here, when you are adding the powers, it means this base power this multiplied by this same base power this. And this is what I've done right here. And then we separate everything with x to one side of the, the equation. So you can see this and this will cancel. We shall, of course, remain with a 3x power x over a 3 power x is equal to a 3 power 10. This is what we've remained with. So now from this stage, we can also again separate because this 3 has got a power 1. So it can be divided. So when we divide by a 3, this 3, even here divide by 3, you can see the 3 which is here. The 3 and the 3 will go. We're going to remain with x power x. Then down here it will be uh, over 3 power x which is equal to here when we divide same basis uh, there's a power 1 here meaning it will be this same base and then to the powers it will be 10 minus 1 which will give us a power 9 so you can see what we have let me write this side we've got x power x over 3 power x is equal to 3 power 9 Okay, so now from this stage, there is a law which says that when you've got common, a common power, so you can see the power which is here and here are the same. So we can write this as a x over 3, and then we bring the power right here, this x, since it's common. And then we shall say equal to 3 power 9. So now from this stage, we want to balance the bases and use, I mean, the, the base equal to the power and also base equal to the power. And use this property which says that uh, when you've got A, power A is equal to B, power B. So remember, for these exponential questions, this property is highly used. So here we can say A is equal to a B. That's what we can say. And this is what we want to do to this so we're going to multiply by 1 over 3, even this power here multiplied by 1 over 3, okay? So when we multiply, this side we're going to get x over a 3, and then here it will be this power, this power by this power, it will be x over a 3, which is equal to, here it will be 3, and then the power will be 9 over a 3. You can see that. So this, of course, 3 into 3, 1 into 9, it's a 3. So you can see we now have a, we now have a x okay, over a 3 power x over a 3, which is equal to 3 there, 3 power 3. So now the property can be used. We're going to say x over 3 is equal to a 3. We cross multiply, the value of x will simply be equal to a 9. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to share the video. Let more people watch. Leave a comment in the comment section. This has been Sichamba Jacob.